among all the tinsel and light, I'm strolling around. Just wondering where you have gone to. Are you just around the corner or in Kathmandu? And whether. Christmas Eve. Welcome to day 24 of Vlogmas. We have got to the end of this segment of Vlogmas and I can't believe we're here already. As per usual kind of Christmas Eve, it has been a really busy morning. The food prep which you will have seen making the desserts and all the fun things and the last minute pieces that needed made, they're all done. The kitchen is cleaned and actually if I turned the camera, which I won't, but if I turned the camera, I wouldn't be ashamed of it <laughs> today. It's actually clean and tidy and I have a faint glow about me because um, I was cleaning floors and I'm kind of penned in here until that dries. But that's not a big hardship. 
So yeah, I hope your Christmas Eve is going really well. It is also the third, fourth, the fourth Sunday of Advent and I have my Legacy Fiber Arts week four of Advent to open and I thought I would do it on camera today. Oh my, this is so pretty. Penguin Parade. Isn't that lovely? So Microsoft Kit Steel Toes. It's their base. Penguin Parade and look at all those lovely colours. So the four Sundays were, if I can get the first one. Oops. This was the first one. Twinkle's Tea House. And the second one, I love them all, but this has definitely been my favourite. Um, Gingerbread Inn. The third one is a String Lights Repair Shop. Ooh, and if I can grab the fourth one now, we have Penguin Parade. Those are all so pretty, each with their little mini. To knit socks if I so wish. I'm not sure what or when I'm going to knit these, but I'm really pleased with these. Um, they give me just a lovely amount of yarn to knit a pair of socks. Um, I do love and probably will maybe next year get a, a yarn advent for the 24 days. But this year it was nice just getting these and then, as I say, during the year I can maybe work on the socks and I would have four pairs of Christmas socks ready for next year. Now that is a good idea. I might do that. I might work on a pair every couple of months so that I have... A set of Christmas socks but I really really enjoyed that advent talking of Christmas socks I can show you both pairs now finished the work the socks that I've worked on since day one so this was the first pair I completed it wasn't the first pair to cast on but the first pair completed and it's a DK vanilla socks a K Litton crazy sock lady pattern and the yarn is Christmas morning, a homespun house. And I'm really pleased with these. These are going on tomorrow morning when I get up to see if Santa has been. So really pretty, really squishy, warm socks. I have actually had an idea of what I might do. I might buy, you can get soles like suede soles for socks that you just stitch on around the, the foot of the sock. And I think I might do that and make these into slipper socks for Christmas. As a Christmas slipper sock. Is a possibility. I really, really do like them. They're not, I don't think, and somebody had felt that maybe this wasn't a good idea then for a beginner for socks and that I think they're very thick. Um, and this person thought they're very thick for shoes but I still think they're a good beginner pattern in that even if you only wear them in the house you've completed a pair of socks quite quickly and it's that satisfaction of a first pair and quite easily and then you can move on to the thinner socks for wearing in your shoes so I still think these are a brilliant beginner sock and I really love I really love the way the colours have worked up in that. And I'm glad I did the alternating stripes for the cuff. You can see my jog there, but not on that side. So that was that pair. And then these are now off the blockers. This was the pair I cast on at the very beginning of Vlogmas. And it's the Find the Joy Socks again by Kay Litton. And the yarn was Craft House Magic, All I Want for Christmas is You. And both those yarns and patterns are linked below. So these are really pretty. So these might go on on Boxing Day, the day after Christmas. Really pleased with those as well. And the progress that I have made on my new cast on, I have just finished 
that also decreases. On these, they're the type of sock I think will show up better once they're blocked, the pattern. That gives you an idea. And this is such an intuitive pattern once you get going. I don't have to look at the pattern anymore. And it is working up really quickly. And I'm hoping to have this one finished by the end of Boxing Day anyway and the second one cast on. And this was old, old, old stash from Deb of Fondant Fibre, who I don't think dies anymore. And I think I, I must have this for nearly eight or nine, ten years. And the colourway was Nellie's frock from Little House in the Prairie. So they're working up really, really well. And for the rest of my day, I am intending now to sit and eat nice things and watch movies. I'm going to start to edit this so that I don't have it all to do tonight. And then just get into the Christmas Eve evening routine, which is in this house, it, it's tea, dinner, and tonight I have ordered in pizza so that there's no cooking. Um, we get our Christmas Eve boxes, which is basically our Christmas pajamas and maybe some smellies to for the shower or the bath. And then we settle in to watch The Muppet Christmas Carol, which is our um, annual Christmas Eve watch. Arthur Christmas was last night. It's our Christmas Eve Eve watch. We love that movie. Um, tonight it's The Muppet's Christmas Carol which I have said before is the most true to the story, surprisingly, except the singing and the rat. And yeah, it, it's still true to the dialogue as uh, much of it's true to the, the actual Dickens story. And then we listen or I read the night before Christmas. It's the two traditions that have come from Peter's kind of growing up one was one of the stuffings I made this morning. It wouldn't be my favourite, but he likes, because his mummy made stuffing with sausage meat in it and then just baked it in the oven. So I make it, that's one of his traditions. And the other one that came from his house was the reading of the night before Christmas. And I might have a 23 year old and a 19 year old and a age, not revealed husband and <laughs> they still all sit around to hear that on Christmas Eve. We just cannot break from tradition and I, I love it. I have no complaints about that at all. So that's what I'm planning to do this evening. I thought I would also say that I will not be putting up a vlog tomorrow but as I've done in previous years my intention is to take some footage of my week after Christmas, betwixt miss as I call it, the, the week that lasts for a month and nobody has any idea of the date or time. But I will take um, you along through that week and on the 31st I will um, give you a video of how we round off our Christmas celebrations and there'll be a little bit of Christmas Day in that too. Not an awful lot. I don't like the camera being out very much on Christmas Day. Um, I don't want to have to think about it and no, no one else will really want the camera out on Christmas Day. So you'll see bits and pieces but I will record the rest, some of the rest of the week. I, during that week I usually um, work my planner for next year. I Hopefully Santa has brought me a planner and I usually sort of that. Um, I think and um, put my word of the year in more firmly. I have an idea for that for next year. Think of my aims for next year. I don't make resolutions, but aims. So that'll all be done. I want to look through my knitting plans for next year, what I'm hoping to do and patterns I'd like to knit, yarn I'd like to use. So I'll take you with me for all of that and cleaning this house and getting it back in order 
Christmas, when I was growing up, Christmas decorations stayed up until the 2nd of January, which was also my dad's birthday, so the Christmas decorations stayed until that, but I don't follow that tradition. The tree needs to be cleared away for the new year, <laughs> just so that I can start the new year clean and fresh. But that's all for next week. This These few days are all about the clutter and the the chaos and the fun activities and the fun things to do and look at. So I will take you through the rest of my day as and when it happens and if I don't speak to you again before tomorrow, have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much for being with me through the first 24 days. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments, for your likes, your subscribes. That all means the world to me and I really do wish you a very happy and peaceful Christmas or whatever you're celebrating at this time of year. I hope you find peace and happiness 